Hello everyone. In this video, I will be briefing about chapter six case problem related to the any professional magazine. A data set is given related to that, and the main purpose is main purpose of this case problem is to analyze given data and make some kind of recommendations to the organization about advertising online articles related to children or uh, selling products that are related to the children. Mostly the case study speaks about all these questions. The data that is collected is a survey, survey related data for some, some of some sort of survey questions. Most of the people have uh, responded and that data is presented to us. So there are uh, six questions to address. So please make sure that you write uh, that report in a managerial report format. Okay. So as it was explained earlier, early, earlier uh, managerial report format always starts with the introduction to the case study. Then we address all the problems and finally we conclude, we conclude the report. When considered to week two case problems, this case problem is very simple one because it mostly speaks related to the descriptive statistics. The first task is we are supposed to generate a descriptive stats and comment on each column and their details. So if we cross check the sheet uh, in solution one, we can see that these are the numerical values and uh, we have tables related to each column. For each column, this is the descriptive statistics which provides detail related to the mean, median, more, minimum value, maximum values, total value, all these values are available here. So make sure you make a comment on two to three factors. You select maybe like if you are writing, if you want to write a three important points from, on age, you select mean, minimum and maximum. Okay, these three values. When you selected say these three values for X factor, the same factors should be selected for all other columns that are selected in the process. Okay, so if you have written about mean, median on age, we try to write same about same thing related to number of transactions. Okay, so write about like for first question, you just discuss about all these things. What is the second question? Second question uh, asks about content calculating campaign central for uh, mean age and household income. It was separately calculated in the second solution. You can see the lower limit and upper limit of age and the lower limit and upper limit of uh, household income. These lower and the upper limits are related to the confidence intervals of the selected factor. So confidence interval is uh, the minimum and maximum value that can be hold by the age or the factor that is selected. The third point asks about proportions. See, in this uh, given data, we see that uh, there are some values there are uh, some values for for which data is in text format okay this is a nominal value so for this values we are supposed to convert it into proportions and uh, we are supposed to perform confidence intervals so here first what we do is we calculate how many s are there in the s are there for broadband and how many no's are there and by using, by calculating total value and dividing each value by total value, we can calculate proportions. Okay. So by using these proportions uh, and implementing them in a formula, we can calculate lower limit and upper limit for each type of the column. Here we have calculated it for broadband, uh, real estate, sorry, broadband and uh, having children. broadband and have children. For these two uh, variables, we have calculated confidence interval at 95%, lower limit and upper limit. You just mention these values, that's enough. What is the fourth question? Fourth question requires uh, some kind of interpretation from your side. Would ink professionals be good advertising outlet for online brokers? So this is the question that was given. 
in this uh, given data we have uh, information related to real estate purchases okay so real estate purchases when this real estate purchases value is tested it is observed that the uh, possibility of uh, getting uh, sale is lower because the p value the proportionate value is lower than 0.5 so as the proportionate of uh, purchasing real estate properties that are advertised online are less than 0.5 it is said that there is not there is not much influence of uh, online advertising on the sale that we can create so online advertising cannot be recommended based on these values you try to mention these values I mean, p value z value and uh, you try to interpret uh, the given data as it was explained to you next is related to uh, a question like uh, would this magazine be a good place for advertising of a company selling educational software and computer games to children so for this question we like we cross checked how many number of children that are in the list see when we got responses to what extent children present in the list are identified based on the data it was identified that proportionate p is greater than 0.5 so uh, it explains that most of the people that are on the list are children so it is a good idea to advertise software products and computer games that are related to children online because there are number of uh, more number of children on the list and finally we are supposed to comment on the type of articles you believe would be interest for readers so what type of uh, uh, articles that would be interest that has to be uh, discussed so mostly as uh, children are more present online and uh, we are about to advertise related to the educational software and computer games it is good if we create uh, some kind of uh, articles that are related to computers and the products that we are selling online so that should be commented here okay overall this should be written in 500 words and finally we should conclude related to the works that we have completed okay all the based on the all tasks that are completed make a paragraph of conclusion and try to make your answer specific and address these questions make sure that your introduction and the conclusion are good okay that's it for this task team all the best give your best